Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm pretty excited to show you that it's high time for me to upgrade my RAM for my iMac, the 2017 models. So this is the RAM that I have just ordered from Amazon and this RAM is brand OWC. So in this video, I'm gonna tell you everything you need to know before upgrading the RAM to your iMac. Okay, so now let's get into my computer and I will tell you step by step. Okay, so on a computer, of course, what you have to do is to go to support.apple.com. So I will link this website in this video description so that you can just click on it and come to this page directly. So when you come to this page, of course, you have to choose the, the right model carefully, otherwise the RAM is not gonna support your iMac. So this is the model that I'm using, the iMac Retina 5K, 27 inch with uh, the 2017 model. So click on that one, see that? So iMac Retina 5K, so this is the, the models, the specification. So the maximum memory you can, uh, for my iMac over here, I can upgrade it to uh, the highest, which is 64 gigabytes RAM. So actually I'm using four slots now. Each one is only four, so, so I've got all the four slots installed. So four, 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 so it's 16 only. And the reason that I need to upgrade is that if you look at, if you look at the RAM usage on my computer, so the RAM is 16 and now it's only 3.55 gigabytes available. I'm not quite sure what is being used here, but it just, you know, add too much space or storage to being used on this um, iMac, especially when I edit videos or 4K videos on my project. And all you have to do next is to read this carefully, you know, yeah, PC, PC4, 2400, uh, 19200, 260 pins. This is really important. And also the uh, model, the yeah, DDR4. Uh, and then you have all the all of this information. Go to Amazon and try to find the one that works for your model. As you can see, this one OWC, 32 gigabytes. So yeah, there are two over here. 2400. DDR4 and 19200, as you can see that. And this one is uh, for the iMac 2017 inch with the 2017 model, the Retina 5K display. And this one also mentioned yeah, the similar uh, information that I just showed you at the moment on the uh, Apple website. Yeah, 260 pins. So they're compatible with each other one more things before you install I also you know go through the uh, comments and feedback as well the comments from the users as well the answer gave the true in my case my Mac came with Apple to da -da -da, located in the slot 2 and 4 initially a follow advice from other source to switch the location of those two, one, and three. So there are four slots, just for your information, there are four slots. So one of the users here tried to install the new RAM from uh, the uh, OWC with the Apple, with, you know, different slots. So slot one and three are for the new one from the OWC, and two and four are the slots for the RAM from the uh, Apple. I did that and the machine did nothing for over one minute. So one minute over for one minute, nothing happens. After reading the answer by OWC here, I put the eight gigabyte sticks in slot one and two, and four gig uh, sticks in slot three and four, and the machine boot in a few seconds. So this is a confirmation that I'm gonna try right now to show you if it works the same way as it is uh, mentioned or share here. So I've got the RAM here, so I can't wait to show you guys right now. So let's go and take out the two of the slots and then install the two new and let's see if this computer boots. So first of all, if this is the first time that you are installing uh, the RAM for your Mac, just for your information, you need 
something in order to push this button over here to open the door okay of uh, this uh, ram door Just press it okay now I can open it As you can see yeah and this is a door and this is the RAM C one two three four. So there are four different RAMs that I have installed on my uh, my iMac. Okay. So next is to press this. Make sure the RAM pops up. And then according to what I've just shown you at the moment, so this is count the first slot, second, third, and fourth. So I'm gonna take out the first slot. Okay, this is one RAM. You can see, look like this. This is the second one. Yeah, this is the second one. And then I'm gonna install the new one, two new here. So I'm gonna install two new. So I'm not gonna confuse it more okay now I've got the two install push it back just double check everything is okay okay so push it back and then close the door on the ramp okay now let's power it up let's see if it works okay guys so now I've placed it back and I have already plugged in the power. Let me press power to see if it works. Nothing. Nothing is happening. As you can see, the screen is still blank. Let's wait for one minute. So let me just pause the video a bit and wait for a few more minutes. I'm not sure what's happening, but I think uh, the USB here has the power now, so I guess it's working, but the screen still you know, shows blank. I'm not quite sure, but uh, I've got the power from the USB here. That's strange. Okay guys, so finally it boot after spending about, you know, 20 minutes, you know, waiting. Not waiting, but I have to adjust the RAM, the slot of the RAM again and again. I take out all of the RAMs and then I try to replace different slots. But the thing is that I have read uh, uh, a few forums and I found one thing that uh, the person mentioned that after talking to the OWC, I mean the company of the RAM, it was recommended to press uh, the option command at the same time R and P. Luckily, I did that. Yeah, I did that. I pressed uh, op uh, command option P and R at the same time, and then the magic happened. The computer just start to you know boot up. But the thing is, I have no idea. That's crazy because. my keyboard and my trackpad will turn off how is this make sense to me you know after 20 minutes you know waiting it's still uh, the screen is still black but i know it's it has the power because i can you know power uh, my light here the ring light here using the usb right from my computer so i, I know of course uh, there's some sort of power from the uh, computer but the problem is that how is this make sense to me you know it doesn't make sense at all because my keyboard turn off but I press many times the uh, option command R and P many times like uh, four and five times and then the computer startups so of course if you're going to do the same thing I recommend you to use the uh, USB keyboard just to in case the uh, magic keyboard does not connect with the, the the iMac but again I have no idea why it happened that way because this one was off and I still press the key and the computer start okay now let me show you the RAM after installing okay so go to about this Mac 
go to memory and you can see now I have 16, 16 and 4, 4. So now I have got 4 T gigs of RAM installed on my iMac successfully and it works pretty fast because I don't have to worry that my memory is 5 gigabytes available or 2 gigabytes available or something right okay guys so that's it i hope you enjoyed the video i hope you learned something from here and don't forget to hit subscribe share and like this video if you learned something from me today and i can't wait to see you guys in the next videos thanks